Welcome back. We are just days away from the start of the NFL draft and the Seahawks have a lot of work to do after losing some key players in the offseason, including a Russell Wilson. Let's head now into the Hawk Zone with Terry Holloman and Marcus Trufant. Gentlemen, I can Im only imagine what's going on behind the scenes right now. It's probably a lot of commotion going on down at their VMAC. Lots of scouting reports, lots of activity. But we have my friend Marcus Trufant, NFL veteran, Seahawk legend, here to help us talk our way through it. True, I want you to change hats for a second though, right? No longer a player, you are now the GM. You're John Snyder. The Seahawks have eight picks this time. What do you do right out of the gate? Man, um, hey, you know, with John Snyder and Pete, they're, they're pretty tricky during the draft. You never know exactly what way they're going to go. But um, I think that they should um, stay up there in those picks instead of kind of trading back and doing what they usually do. I think it would be really good to go after a top ten pick, man, to see if you can get one of those guys and build around that, right? Um, they, um, I don't know if it's been officially said that they're going through a rebuilding year, but maybe they want to kind of, build this thing up, man, wait a couple of years and see what they can come out it, with. It feels like a rebuild, right? There's a they lot haven't of said it, though. They I don't know if they it. want that excuse, right? They so. say they want to win right now, win right. forever, win always, right? But they have lost a lot of pieces. And like you said, they normally trade back in the draft, but this year they have the number nine pick. What would you would you pick or would you push it back? Um, I think they should pick, and I'm a uh, um, uh, skilled guy, right? That's where I come from, the DBs and the wide receiver, all the cute stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But I think it would be very productive to go offensive line, right? Um, build around an offensive lineman, and you're going to have some new quarterbacks out there that you're going to try to um, build your franchise around. I know we got, uh, it, it, you know, we got Geno and we got Drew right now. So um, bringing in a nice, strong, young offensive lineman, um, I know that Dwayne Brown is a free agent right now, right. so you don't really right. know exactly what's going to happen there. But um, if you bring in a young guy and you get five years to work with him because he'll be on that rookie contract and you won't have to worry about money for a couple years <laughs> right. there. But um, I think that could be a good start. Offensive lineman is usually not really the sexy pick for the NFL draft, but it's really something that the Seahawks need. But we also need a quarterback because we've lost Russell Wilson, who's obviously the greatest quarterback in this franchise history. How do you replace him? Would you go after a quarterback? You need to draft a quarterback, I believe in that. But like I just said, we got Geno, we right. got Drew. So let's not um, act like we don't have quarterbacks on the roster, right? So to bring in a, a free agent guy or anything like that, I think it would be smart to get a young guy in the draft. But in the later rounds, try to see if you can pull out some of that Russell Wilson, um, that Russell Wilson magic uh, third rounder. Or you talk about guys that went in late uh that when in late rounds guys are like Richard Sherman and stuff like that. Right. So I think that's what they'll do. They'll probably take a step back, get a quarterback, maybe third or fourth round. There's also a guy out there by the name of Baker Mayfield <laughs> whose name's been floated around a little bit. He's a free agent. Nobody's picked him up yet. Would you risk bringing him in? Baker Mayfield comes with a lot of um, cool, fun stuff, right, yes, if you're right. Uh, fans. But um, I don't know just from a business um perspective is that works because to get uh, Baker you're probably gonna have to give up some draft uh, capital and you're probably gonna have to give up more than you really want to so I think it makes more sense just to stick with the guys we got bring in a young guy and um, let him compete against you know Gino and Drew but um, no shade to Baker of right. course but um, I don't think it would be a fit here. I could be wrong. So good luck to you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Baker love, Mayfield in the future. So right? You and a lot of fans are against Baker Mayfield. I'm not like, against him. He, I didn't say What has he done? See? But you, you're not really on board with it like you should be. Um, I should be. I don't know why. But you say that, T. I didn't say that. <laughs> but but um, Baker's a great quarterback. Right. So please don't get me wrong. But just like I said before, it's going to take a lot to bring him in here. And it just changes the whole dynamic. Um, Seahawks bring in guys that they can mold and kind of make them into their guys. Right. And I don't know if that necessarily um, if that necessarily fits that situation. Okay. okay. If you like how I straddled the I fence did. You did. <laughs> Martin Trufant is a, a true politician, right? So when he gets done with talking about football and doing the podcast the Truly Unruly and the barbershop, he's going to become the mayor of Seattle. But anyways, as I digress, as a cougar, 
a Washington State Cougar legend, I want to talk to you about a subject that is probably near and dear to your heart, and that's the Washington Huskies. You guys can see my shoes. I'm wearing my Husky shoes yeah. today just for Marcus. <laughs> the Huskies have a couple of great defensive backs that are going to be in this draft, Kyler Gordon and Trent McDuffie. Mm -hmm. What do you think about those two guys? They both play your position. Yes, both um, great guys that play a lot of good football, right? Um, I think uh, Trent... McDuffie, I think he has a good chance to go early second round, right? Um, big time player, tape is great, so um, there's a lot of teams out there, of course, that are looking for good corners and you always need depth um, in the secondary, so um, of course I can see him going high and we'll see um, just how this thing plays out and of course I haven't been watching them as close as I've been watching my and why crew. is that Je just because, because just because they're huskies the, the purple and gold sometimes <laughs> makes me sick and uh, that's okay right yeah I guess everybody's I'm different that. but um, cheers to both of them young men I think they'll do good man. I, think I think it's incredible it. when you talk about two guys that both play defensive back mm -hmm. both play corner both coming from the same team and both are gonna be either first or second round draft picks. Right. and I think that's pretty incredible especially if you think about a team that didn't make the bowl games last year. That was tough to say, right? Yeah, it was hard for me to say, especially in your presence. Uh, now back to the Seahawks, true. Is there anything else that you think the Seahawks need to address? We talked about the quarterback situation. We talked about the offensive line situation. We didn't talk about the linebacker situation. So right. what other areas do you think? Well, you just hit it on the head. Too. You talk about everybody that we lost. Of course, we lost Russell Wilson. We lost Bobby Wagner. So we're going to need quarterback. We're going to need linebackers. But um, the position near and dear to my heart, just like we just talked about the two young men from uh, the University of Washington, the secondary is a position where you always need depth. So, um, of course, you could have that one guy that's there, but you need guys that can fill in injuries, everything happen, and you and um, having good guys in the secondary is always big. So I think you um, start there with the offensive linemen, and you always need a pass rusher, too. A pass rusher can change the type of team that you have and how other teams have to prepare. So uh, out of this world, pass rusher is definitely great, but my um, first need is um, secondary because we want depth there, and then you want to go with the offensive lineman, and then you squeeze the quarterback in there. Okay, well, I think what the Seahawks really need this Thursday at the NFL Draft is a person like Amity Adrisi inside <laughs> the war room helping them make that decision. Amity, can you help them out? I mean, I'll do, I'll do my best, um, but I am actually going to be interested in what they see, and I'm going to beg you gentlemen to come back to find out after effects, after that draft happens, after these things or decisions are made, please, no please doubt. come back. Thank you. So, Oh, by the way, Marcus for mayor. If you need like a campaign coordinator, I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> thank you, gentlemen, and thank you for spending time with us today. You can check our website always for more content, and you can share an email. Just send us your thoughts. Now go out and enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time. <laughs>